welcome to chemistry lover and today in this video i am going to discuss about a very interesting question from jan 2018 so this is the question you can see an aromatic compound is given along with this reaction condition sodamide in liquid ammonia so looking at the reaction condition you may easily guess that it is a benzene reaction so this sodamide is given and here you have this hydrogen adjacent to this chlorine so the sodamide it will take so nh2 it will take a proton from here so that will generate this anion and in the next step when this will push this chloride will go and you will get this benzene intermediate and you have this chain over here right so this is the first step of the reaction now these four options are there and these options uh, you may feel confusing because all the products are possible out of this reaction as we will see so let us see what is the possibility of this first first product so if this benzene is formed now your sodamide is there so what happens in normal benzene type reaction is the same sodamide so you are using the sodamide in excess you have no control over this uh, concentration of the sodamide so this sodamide can attack over this benzene so now the excess nh2 minus it can either attack over here or it can attack over here so according to that you can get either this or you can get uh, this one right so these possibilities are there and um, whether this or this will be the major that is dependent on the stability of this uh, negative charge that is in this case you can see there is an alkyl group like this which is basically so this is one two three so this is one two three this is one two three so this alkyl group is there so it is an electron pushing group so that means this anion will be stable because it is far away from this alkyl group or if you consider hyper conjugation from here so if you con consider the hyper conjugation from here so actually this negative charge resides at, the, at this sp2 lobe so this hyper conjugation has no effect right so we only have to consider about the inductive effect so inductive effect of this alkyl group will make this anion little bit less stable because if this push electron to here and it is already negative so it will be less stable so this will be major over this and from this particular anion if now it takes a proton from this liquid ammonia you will get this product so from here you can get this uh, when this uh, negative charge abstracts a proton or from here you can see from here it will give you this right and another possibility is now uh, let's say after taking up this proton if this nh2 lone pair it attacks over this cyanide so what you will get so you will get this so if this nh2 attacks over this cyanide uh, so you can get something like this so this is one two three four sorry i am doing a mistake so this option is not there actually so i don't have to think about this attack so this option is not there so actually what i should check is so let's say this negative charge is there okay so after attack of this amide there is a negative charge so now this negative charge it can attack over this cyanide so now you can see this is one two three four five uh, six so now there is a possibility of formation of this six membered ring along with this imine so nh nh minus right so this can form and finally when hydrolysis will occur so hydrolysis of this will yield this product so all these three can form uh, can be formed but what about this option three so again option three is also possible how so you can see these protons adjacent to this uh, cyanide group or this nitrile group they are acidic because if your sodamide abstract this proton so if i open up the structure of acetonitrile 
it will be like this so it can take this proton and it will form this so after this benzene formation you can have this intermediate so this is your benzene intermediate as usual but here again you can have this anion so this enolate type uh, thing can be over here and when this push back so it will attack over here so from this you will get this and here you have minus right so now when this will take proton so when this this can take proton from liquid ammonia in H2 so it can take proton from here or after workup it can take a proton to give you this product now the question is then what will be the correct answer because this is confusing that all possibilities are there now one thing uh, is very interesting is that uh, you can categorize all this product that is only when proton abstraction takes place from this alpha carbon atom then only this product 3 is possible but uh, if this proton abstraction doesn't take place then all these three possibilities this one two and four these possibilities are there because all these three products one two and four they originate from this intermediate where you don't have a deprotonation over this alpha carbon atom right so now that means uh, these three so if you don't know anything whether this proton abstraction is favorable or, or not then also you can answer in your exam hall because if you have four options and this is not a multiple selective type question this is a mcq question multiple choice question so only one answer will be the correct answer and you cannot decide between this one two and four because they all are almost equally possible although you can see there is a little uh, uh, difference between the stability of this and this but uh, that is a very minor because this alkyl groups plus i effect this is very low or very less so if you uh, have to compare between uh, one three and four it is not possible so all these three are um, equally probable so that means this three cannot be the option so you can easily discard this one two and four so you are only left out with option 3 and option 3 will be the correct answer so this is by intuition now what is the actual reason so the actual reason is so if you consider the pk of this proton so this proton's pk is 40 right and pk of this proton is around uh, 25 and pk of sodamide is around 36 right so you can see this proton is much more acidic than this one so in the reaction condition where deprotonation is taking place from this proton to give you this benzene of course deprotonation will take place from here so that means whenever you get a benzene you will uh, for sure you will have deprotonation from here so you can never get this intermediate rather you will always get this intermediate because this deprotonation from this alpha carbon atom will always occur in this reaction condition because this pk of this uh, sodamide is 36 and it has pk value of 25 so in uh, this is this is far more uh, basic to uh, take this proton so that means you will always always have this intermediate so you if you have the pk value knowledge then you can easily predict that this intermediate will be there and now if you compare you have one uh, site in your molecule uh, which can attack over this benzene so this is an intramolecular reaction uh, whereas if this amide has to attack over here this NH2 has to attack over here this is an intermolecular reaction and you know that intramolecular reaction is always uh, favorable over intermolecular reaction so that means this will win and you will get this product 3 as your correct product so this is how you have to solve this type of question so if you don't have the knowledge of pk value then also by intuition you can discard this option one three and four and you can get the answer and if you know about the pk you, you, you if you have the knowledge of pk then you can easily rationalize uh, the correct answer so that's the goal of this question i hope that uh, you get some idea that how to deal with this type of questions and uh, thank you for watching have a good day